some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey everyone, welcome back to Board Games Unlocked, and Brad and I are doing a discussion over the expansion for Marvel Zombies, Galactus the Devourer. Uh, are you facing Galactus? Yes, I'm. I'm uh, so this. Cussing him out. You're, you're just like, hey, fuck you. <laughs> this is my world. Uh, yeah, this should be a relatively quick review. We've done a discussion over Marvel Zombies, so you can go check that out. Uh, but this was the first official, like, Kickstarter expansion that was released, uh, which, I don't know if you can notice it, it's relatively small, but, uh, there is a Galactus miniature, which is right here. <laughs> Literally taller than us as we're sitting down. And this is the second one that Simon has done, because the first one they did for Cthulhu, Death May Die, which... Season 3, thank fucking god they finally did, so I got that. Um, but yeah, the expansion comes with, it's a, as you can see, a small box. Comes with two missions in uh, the game. Technically, sorry, technically there are four. Uh, two missions for the zombie mode and two missions for the hero mode. Uh, unfortunately, still have not played hero mode. I have no idea, because you we don't have the expansion to do that soon uh right but we did uh the mission uh hunger versus hunger both of them are considered very hard in fact all four of them are considered very hard uh sitting at around two hours is what the the thing says oh, they should be i mean he's devouring the world <laughs> i know <laughs> yeah no uh so what do uh what do you think of galactus I thought it was fun. Yeah. It's 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 what a co-op game should do. It should be brutal mm -hmm. and not easy to beat. Yeah. Um, it's a good showpiece. Yeah. That was the main reason I got it, because just to have that big show show piece of, yeah. of everything. Um, it looks neat because you get to play on the on the deal, what you do on the Cthulhu one as well. Mm -hmm. Um I like the additions that they did with this with the cosmic the power cosmic cards; mm -hmm. those are really powerful, and you could do stuff with those. I like how he actually moved on to the tiles. Yeah, was that was devouring the stuff. That's what interested me the most was I assumed that we'd be able to go onto a spot, and it's like I think, yeah, the Cthulhu you can jump on as well. Uh, but you essentially in zombie mode, you have the base, and uh, you have the engine, and then you have the uh, hand that you can go into. And going into certain sections will allow you to uh, lower his overall attack. Um, or the toughness of a location to be able to destroy it. You destroy the five locations, you win. Uh, which is a lot more difficult than you would think. Because it's not just him. Well, my entire thought was, I thought it was just him. Mm -hmm. Like there would be a bunch of cards and a bunch of mechanics. Right. But it would just be him and the board. I did not expect there to actually be... The rest of the game. Right. I think that's more what the Cthulhu one's like. That's what I thought. I yeah. thought the Cthulhu one was more primarily focused on him. I think in season three they do more right. creative stuff, but that was my entire thing. It was, okay, well, I'll just, before we even set up to like play it, I was like, yeah, I'll just grab it and put it on the table and we'll play. It's like, oh, no, there's a whole ordeal with this. But what was also fascinating was I liked the fact that he actually moves. And in the other ones, he rotates. Right. So there's like two halves, and, cool. he, and he changes focus. Which some people might not like, because that's kind of a pain in the ass to like have to lug this thing, which you did everything. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> but it's very atmospheric. I really enjoyed that it's like he starts off that and just slowly encroaching, destroying the entire world as he's walking. And it's like, you're on a timer, because it's not just surviving the masses and the heroes coming in but eventually you can't take forever right because well and like typical zombie side games um the spawning increases as you get up on the mm -hmm. your level so doing this with a four player run would be easier that's true you, you'd, you'd have four characters that would have four sets of actions and stuff too. We play it playing it two players. Yep. That would so I almost wonder if you did it where we each controlled two two heroes. Yeah. That if that would make it easier because we well, did get on there and we just we destroyed his head. 
Yeah, that's that's the best we got, and and stuff like that. But I mean, you could have you could have divided and conquered. Two people could have been dealing with him. Two people could have been dealing with the horde. Of yeah, people, you know. It, it well, it's still, it's still, it's the same number of spawn points in a four player game, but that's still four spawn actions. Well, right, but it, they come out. Yeah, that's true. Um, yeah. So I mean, you're drawing one spawn card per. Yeah, per location. Deal. Yeah, you're and right. It, and it depends on what level, the highest level is what it depends yeah. on when they come out. So it would make it easier, which is what regular zombie side is. If you play a four complement zombie side, it's mm -hmm. easier than playing with two people. Right. Uh, but, I mean, it's it's extremely fascinating Like, because he has this force field that is just, uh, you have to get rid of that before you can attack the locations. But you can you don't have to be on certain locations. You don't have to be in the hand to hit the head or something, which would be just, which would be kind of annoying. Like, you can be on the base. Thematically, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense that if I'm playing Captain America and I do a melee attack that I can hit the head. But I think just for practical purposes, it kind of just makes it a lot more streamlined. Especially with how easy it is to get onto him. But you run the risk, because he also, you just take a damage for being on the base. And God, it just looks so cool. Like, it having... Like, the first time I, like, actually moved on to the spot, it was like, oh, yeah, I realize just how tiny I am compared to him. And that feels amazing. Even hitting the head, like, and destroying the head felt amazing. So how does Galactus work? He has, uh, he has a deck of action cards that in between the hero and enemy phase, or the player phase, you draw a card, and that will determine... Oh, he spawns more stuff on his force field. He activates mission effect A, so you look at the rules, and then the very first one that he starts moving. If you uh, affect mission... Oh, God, there's Devour Earth. Activate mission effect A, then mission effect B. Oh, Jesus. So he moves, and then his mission effect B, in this case, was he kind of just hits an entire half of the board. Uh, if you're in the street, you just take a damage and potentially another damage. And I liked how it wasn't, like, cumbersome to play with him. Like, right. you didn't have to... You had to learn new rules, of course, but it all was just very quick to, like, understand. Instead of it being like, oh, God, okay, we have this meticulous, like, very finicky rule set on how to make this work. It was just... It's plug and play, almost. Put him on the board and set up a mission and do it like you would do for Marvel Zombies. It's still very hard. <laughs> For sure. But we only took out one of the five spots. Yeah. We had... I mean, we could have done more. Uh, like, I feel like we could have at least taken two out. Yeah. But, obviously, that's still losing. Well, because I would have... Because I had another one of these that could have let us... Right. Do some damage, but... Yeah, because it's really cool. They have a bunch of objectives on here that are color-coded. So, like, red allowed you to... Well, you gain a bunch of XP for just picking them up. And then red lets you, for free, pop onto his base. Green healed everyone by one. And blue removed the silver surfer. Uh, from, just from the game. You, like, broke the tether he has to Galactus, which would have been very nice to just get rid of. Uh, he didn't really play that big of a role, though. The heroes almost kind of don't, though. Yeah. Like, they're still there, and they can still be a problem if you just leave them unchecked, but... You're also heroes. Mm -hmm. You're the zombie form. Uh, so you don't want them to show up, but they're also not the hardest to get rid of. He, the Silver Surfer, was interesting because he had his own unique deck. That was just kind of like AoE abilities. Like just passive effects, things like... Um, yeah, at the end of the enemy phase, if he didn't attack, all heroes within range one of him has to discard all their zombie trait cards. Uh, until the next enemy phase, zombie heroes cannot use bystander abilities or zombie traits. So he just kind of has like this these these effects that are just not debilitating. They're not like well the game's over. Right. But they're still like, man, you're annoying. <laughs> Silver Surfer, you're annoying. But I think that that's cool that the Silver Surfer is directly tied to him. So <clears throat> until you get rid of the blue objective, when you defeat him, he comes back. And it's like, ugh, jeez. 
Uh, was there anything that you didn't like about the expansion? Not really. Yeah. I mean, just mainly just because you knew going in it was going to be super super difficult. Yeah. So, so I mean, you know, we 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 knew that going in. We knew it was going to. We probably aren't going to win. Right. I mean, you don't want to go into a thing like this and win the first time. I agree. You know, yeah. That, that just makes it kind it's like, of. It's like, oh, dang it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Guess I'll put them up and never play again. Yeah. yeah. I very much agree. I thought the very hard. It, it, yeah, you went in. It says very hard. Uh, but it didn't feel like hard for the sake of being hard. Right. Like, we, I still felt like we had a chance until it was, like, at the very end where it's like, oh, nope, we, we lost. In fact, at the very beginning, we had a moment like that where it's like, damn, did we just immediately lose? And right. then it's like, no, I can use this ability. We'll get me out of here. Uh, so you have opportunities and chances. But, yeah, it's still incredibly difficult. Uh, yeah, Galactus has these master plan abilities that are kind of like permanent effects until you destroy locations. I think that's cool. That it's like, oh, okay, we have this laser beam effect. That sucks. But if we destroy the right arm, it'll get rid of it. Or if we destroy the head, his headpiece is zombie heroes can only have one trait card instead of two. Um, but when this card is revealed, spawn three troopers on each active spawn point. So that's kind of gross. but And that depends on how much you use trait cards. Right. Uh, I never grabbed any of this. I grabbed one at the very first round. Right, and, and those are it. probably... I forgot how kind of clutch that these can be. There's just so many uh, in here, but... But yeah, so limiting those. I mean, just having like passive effects that still aren't like you only get one action per turn or something stupid, uh -huh. you know. It feels balanced. I think it, overall it feels balanced and it's a lot of fun. Yeah, That's pretty much it. Yeah, I don't really have much. If you want to know our thoughts on Marvel Zombies, you can definitely go check that out. Uh, but what would you give Galactus the Devourer? I can't remember what I gave Marvel Zombies itself. I think it was an 8. Something like that, I think. It was eight. I would give it about the same. Yeah. I mean, I mean it's it's just more of the same. It, mm -hmm. it brings a different aspect to to it. And I think this would be a good one to do as a group gaming event. You That's know, like true. Like if you had four people and were playing or, or whatever. And it's just a nice, cool... Yeah, just like have get thing. get six players yeah. to try yeah, and take just, on Galactus. Right. Yeah, I agree. That'd be that'd be a lot of fun. I agree. I'd give it an eight. Uh, really good expansion. If you can get it, if you can get the piece, then I highly recommend it. But other than that, you got anything else? Nope. All right, That's cool. It. Well, like, comment, share, and subscribe, and have a wonderful whatever time of day it is for you. Hey everyone, thank you for watching and I really hope that you enjoyed the video. If you would like to see more of my content, go ahead and click that subscribe button and the bell to be notified whenever I upload any new content. If you feel like supporting the channel, you can go ahead and click that Patreon link to be taken to my Patreon and any help is truly appreciated. Other than that, stick around for any, any other run-throughs or reviews or cool top tens or whatever I feel like putting on. Other than that, like, comment, share, and subscribe and have a wonderful whatever time of day it is for you.